Okay, so in this video, we'll be identifying and explaining why triangles are congruent using our three letter abbreviations that we saw in the last video. So for the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, show a pair of triangles and you're gonna decide whether they are definitely congruent, definitely not congruent, or in this case, there's actually a valid maybe option where there's enough information to show they might be congruent, but we need to measure more to be sure, okay? As I show each one, I might pause a bit so that if you're in class, you can actually pause the video, take a bit of a vote and uh, see what you think before I give the answer. Okay, so let's go. This is the first one. We would have that these two are definitely congruent and that's because of SSS. So you see there's a three matching the three, four matching the four and five matching the five. Next one. These two would be a maybe, but we can't be sure. Okay, there are two pairs of matching sides, so we're good so far, but we'd need to measure one more thing, whether that's the third side or maybe the angle in between to be absolutely sure. Next one. These would be definitely not congruent because one's a three, four, five, one's a three, four, six, so they're different size. Okay, these are definitely congruent because of SAS. So we have a matching two, matching four, and the angle in between the two and the four is also the same between those two triangles. So that angle must be in between the two pairs of matching sides. Okay, so this one would be an RHS. Uh, they would be definitely congruent because we have a right angle in each, equal hypotenuse, and equal other side. And the last one of those. These would definitely not be congruent because there's a right angle in each and the hypotenuse is different. So that means that they are different right angle triangles. Okay, so that's the last one of those ones. Uh, next thing we'll do is for each set of triangles, we find a pair that are congruent and explain why. So there will be a pair of congruent ones and we want to find them and again, give the three letter abbreviation as to why. So here we go. This one would be the first and the third one because of SSS, you see there's matching twos, matching fours, matching fives. <clears throat> why these two don't count is because the 30 degree angle is in the wrong place. In the first one, it's between the four and the five. In the second one, it's between the four and the two. And so that's why these two are not matching. Okay, so it's the first one and the third one because of SSS. Next one. It'd be the second and third because of SAS. So we have the same numbers in all of these triangles. And so what you're looking for is the 25 degree angle is between the two sides that you're looking at. In this triangle, the 25 is between the six and the blank not between the six and the 4.5. Next one. It's just the numbers. Um, it will be the first and the third because of AAS, angle, angle, side, because we have matching 32 degrees, matching 58 degrees, matching six, and the six is in the right place between the 32 degree angle and the 58 degree angle. Okay, the 34 is just different. Next one. Okay, so the reason could actually be any of them really, because uh, we can't actually immediately see why two triangles are congruent, but the right angle should be raising some alarm bells. And if you know Pythagoras, um, which is, as we explained, what makes RHS work in the first place, uh, if we run Pythagoras, we'd see that this side here is four and this side here is three as well. Okay, so it's actually the first and the second the five not being in the hypotenuse stuffs this one up. Okay, so this one you'd actually have to use Pythagoras, but once you've got that, that's four, that's three, it could almost be any of the tests, okay? So um, SAS, SSS, RHS, any of them would work, okay? So that's this one. Last one. Okay, so it's actually ABE and ADE that are congruent. Uh, reason is SSS, so we have this side marked to equal this side. This thing here marked to equal 
this thing here. And the third side is physically being used by both triangles. So of course it must be equal. There's actually just one side there being used by both triangles. So even though there's only two marked pairs of equal matching sides, there's actually three because the third one's being used by both of them. So it'd be an SSS. Okay, so that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you around.